Nigeria in the city of Maiduguri, which has been an epicenter of the 12-year battle against Islamist terrorism. The past 10 months have been tough for the 800,000 people in the city, struggling to revive and rebuild their economy without, at times, power from the national grid. Power lines to the city were bombed by terrorists in January. The last 10 months have been the toughest in Gaba Zango's nearly 50-year career. He owns a printing press in Nigeria's northeastern Beduguri. But amid a long-running battle against militants, the city of 800,000 people is cut off from the national grid. His business, like the rest in Meduguri, is now dependent on expensive and polluting generators. We used two generators in shift. But at that time, the gas was okay, the, uh, the price of gas is okay, diesel. But now it has gone to an extent that every day, if we have to work, we have to buy 9,000 Naira gas every day. Medigui is the capital of Borno State, the epicenter of a 12-year battle against militants. In January, transmission lines were bombed, cutting the city's power. The lines were fixed and destroyed again within 48 hours. The next month, a repair vehicle hit an improvised explosive device, killing one soldier and injuring three workers. The lack of power is stifling the city's economy, and those who cannot earn enough through the legitimate economy may be lured into working with militants who roam just outside the city, once tenure latile of the Institute for Security Studies. This has now thrown a spanner in the works because it's increased the cost of doing business in the city. It's pushing some people back into poverty, you know, and it's just affecting the, the, the general economic life in the city. Borno State Police Commissioner Abdul Umar said officers had removed explosive devices from the roads to improve security, which would enable repairs. Nigerian oil company NMPC has also promised to build a 50 megawatt gas fired power plant in Meduguri to cut the reliance on transmission lines. But the timeline for both the transmission line repairs and the plant remains unclear.